Alrighty, my art friends, today we're going to be making some symmetry bugs. So as we might know, there's so many different species of insects out there that look really, really interesting, um, sometimes even a little bit silly. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking inspiration from insects and creating symmetrical bugs actually made from our names. This could be your first name or your last name. I actually did mine as my last name because my last name is longer. So there's my J, A, K, I, E, L, and A. Alrighty. This symmetry bug that I made is definitely a more detailed kind of fancy symmetry bug, but you can make your letters nice and simple. So I'm going to be going over that step by step with you. So I'm just going to move my bug out of the way. What you are going to need for this project for the first step, really creating our bug, is going to be a pencil if you would like and absolutely a Sharpie. That's something that you are going to need. The first thing we are going to be doing is we're going to be folding our paper in half. Alrighty. So you're going to be folding your paper in half the tall way. Alright. So as you can see, I didn't fold it this short way like this. I want it to be tall. So I folded it really, really, really nicely. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to turn it like this. You can see my crease right here. What you're going to do is you're going to write either your first name or your last name on this section up here. And your letters are going to touch this line. Okay? They do not have to go from top to bottom, but they must touch this line. So I'm just going to go in right away with a Sharpie. And what's a really good thing as well is that you actually use a piece of paper or a mat underneath your work because you don't want to get Sharpie on your table. Okay, So I just grabbed another piece of paper to just work on top of. So. I'm just going to make my name nice and simple. I'm not going to make it all fancy and twirly. You can do that if you would like, but I'm just going to write my last name just nice and simply. So there's my J and you can see that my J touched the very top of that line there and I need the top. So there's my J. I think I'm also going to do a, a pretty cool A, A. Okay. I, I'm going to have my I and E touch. E. And I kind of made that a little fancy. L. And I'm going to make my A kind of big and wacky. A. So I kind of played with the way my last name looks. That lowercase a is really, really big, but that's okay. So now what I am going to do is I am going to fold this in half. Okay? I don't know if you can see it very well from the camera, but you can actually see through the other side to my name. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over this. Okay? I'm going over the lines that I can see from the first time I did my last name. You might even want to use a window for this. So if you have a, a door that has a window on it or you just have a big window that you can reach, it's kind of nice to do this tracing on a window. You can see it even better. And again, if you want to do this in pencil first to help you, you can totally do that. L and A. And there we go. So when I open this up, ta-da, I have my name. I'm going to put it the tall way with my J at the top. You can see that this looks faded. The reason why it looks faded is because I did it on this side, okay? 
So what you're going to do is you're just going to go over these to make them look nice and dark. All right. So now we're going to add in a little bit of details here. So I had some cool letters, but I want to try to think of where might my eyes be on my bug. Maybe these are the antennas. Maybe these can be the eyes. Where's the nose? Where's the mouth? Maybe you want to add in arms. This is kind of where you make this symmetrical bug start to be creative. The reason why this has symmetry is because it's the same on both sides. It mirrors each other. Okay. When we look at my bug here, I added in eyes here. I even added in whiskers because it kind of started to look a little bit like a cat. And I added some interesting curls in as well. So now I'm gonna start thinking about how I'm going to add in more of my details. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my details on this side and I think I'm going to make my eyes these and I'm gonna make my bug look like it's looking up. And I'm gonna make this colored in. That looks cute. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this over because we want it to have symmetry, we want it to be the same. So ready, I did that on this side. I'm gonna fold this over and I can see through. It might be hard to see on the camera, but I can see through and I'm actually going to go over those lines and fill that in. Open it. Now it's faded. Remember how over here we're spading and we went over it? I'm just gonna go right over these. And now I have symmetrical eyes. So I'm gonna do that again. This kind of looks like a smiley face. So what I'm gonna do actually is I am going to make a tongue. So I'm gonna go like this. And I can see it on that side. I'm going to trace over. And there's my line. And oh my goodness, I have this kind of hilarious looking tongue. This is so much fun, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so now maybe I wanna add in some other things. Maybe I wanna add in some cool design here to kind of give it a head shape. So that's kind of a cool shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over and you can see it through. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going over those lines, opening it up, and there's that exact same symmetrical line. And I'm gonna go over that. So now it kind of looks like I have a face on my bug. I'm gonna add in some extra details as well. how this looks it's really cute I added in some arms I added in antennas it kind of looks like he's surprising I even added in these little shoes that kind of look like elf shoes so I turned my name into something really really creative and interesting now what we're gonna get into is adding our color to make our bug come more to life all right we have finished our bug to create symmetry. Now what we're going to do is we're just gonna color it in. That's the really fun part where you can get super creative with color as well. So as you can see on this bug that I made, I used crayon and I had a lot of color options. You don't have to just use crayons. You could use markers, you could use pencils, you could use paint if you really wanted to, like a watercolor, the choice is yours and you could make as many of these creative bugs as you'd like. I think what I'm gonna do, because I really like these two markers that I have, I think I'm gonna make my bug an entire blue and yellow theme. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start coloring in my bug. And again, you wanna make sure that you're also maintaining or keeping symmetry. That means anything that you do on one side, you're doing on the other side. You want this to look symmetrical, the same on both sides. 
I really like using marker on these because it fills in the spaces really nicely. But again, the choice is yours. symmetry bug it's super cute um, I use just two colors but you can use as many colors as you like but as you can see it still has symmetry meaning it looks the same on both sides I did my coloring the same on this side and the same on this side it has symmetry you can make as many of these as you'd like again the way I wrote my name and again we can fold our guy in half was very simple I didn't make it fancy Maybe you want to make another one that's really, really fancy. Maybe you want to mix uppercase letters with lowercase letters. So maybe I make my J uppercase, A lowercase, K uppercase, I lowercase. There's lots of different things you can do. Maybe you could make your letters loopier and fancier. Maybe you can do block letters. There's so many different things you can do with these bugs. All right, here's our last step of the project. This is optional. You can leave your bug on the piece of paper, but if you want, you can also cut your bug out to kind of give it a more cool shape. So this one has this really awesome organic shape after I cut it out, where this one's just in a rectangle. So you don't have to do this. If you want to, you absolutely can. So what you're gonna do, again, we wanna focus on symmetry, the same on both sides. So you guessed it, I'm gonna fold it in half, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, so I'll just show you that again. Just folding it in half. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm not gonna cut right up against this. Give yourself space, that's really challenging, okay? So ready? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just kinda go on, gonna go on the outside, kinda bubble around my letters so you can see i'm not cutting right up against my letters i'm just kind of going around them and i'm turning my paper so i've talked a lot about how when we're trying to cut something with rounded edges we turn our paper Ooh, i'm going to kind of take a risk here i'm going to kind of go right inside that sneaky narrow part and you can see i'm not turning my scissors i'm turning my paper so I can get all the way around, I'm taking my time. And then, just like that, I am done. I can get rid of my scraps, and I have another really cool bug. These are so much fun. Do as many of these as you would like. Be creative, be creative with color. See how different they can turn out. Um, and then you can have a bunch of bug friends. Have a ton of fun on this project.